I gotta be honest with you, even I was a little suspicious at first. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Hey, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button for me, would you? It helps an awful lot. Uh, and thanks, as always, for all the kind comments. Uh, you guys and gals are the best. It seems like I've been talking about stems a fair amount uh, of late. And... One of you out there, and I apologize, I can't remember exactly which one, suggested that maybe I could do a video on the Discord stems that friends James and Candace uh, from Analog Cycles have made, now Discord components. And I started uh, dealing with them back at the old store, actually. And the very first set of stems were the right stem and they were quill stems and they came in uh, you know zero extension and 30 millimeter extension and you know so I guess the, the question is why would you want a stem like this now he's got all kinds of kind of more technical reasons about bike handling and bike design and how you know obviously you make a bike more stable when you lengthen the wheelbase and by using a slacker front end you can achieve the same kind of steering feel and lengthen the the wheelbase uh, without making the chain stays super long and there's a whole thing, and maybe I should get him. Uh, we could do a, a Skype session, and I could record it. So, because I'm sure he could explain it a lot better than I'm doing. But the other reason that you would want something like this is, as I discussed last week, when you're trying to size one of these new bikes and you wanna have a high handlebar position, you need to try to get into the biggest frame size you can within reason, thus decreasing, kind of naturally decreasing the disparity between the saddle and the handlebar height. Well, with a quilt or if you are taking an old, like say mountain bike from the 90s, which would have a quill stem more than likely, and you were trying to turn that into kind of an all rounder touring bike, uh, especially if you were gonna use drop bars with that, you would need to bring those bars not only back quite a bit, but you would wanna get them up high. So that's where the right stem kind of came to be. Um, but, you know, the, the majority of bikes out there now don't have quill stems. They have threadless stems. And so then that begat the creamy, uh, which is your threadless stem for inch and eight steers and 31 eight bars, which then begat the peeper, which is again for inch and eighth steer, uh, 31 eight bars with a 30 millimeter extension. So with all four of these, you can take, you know, any number of bikes and achieve that handlebar position that you're looking for that is high and back. Now, mountain bikes have been doing this for, you know, a number of years now. You've started to see the bars get wider and the stems get shorter. And why is that? Well, you know, if my arms are this long, when they're straight out in front of me, they're significantly shorter the farther out they go. That makes sense. So you can get any number of short 
stems from the mountain bike world. And even this little guy, um, you know, which is like, I don't know, $35. Uh, it's a 45 millimeter stem. What you don't get is the rise. So if you're dealing with a limited amount of steer tube or if the steer tube's been cut already, you know, you can get quite a bit more rise with the peeper stem than you can with a trail stem from any number of uh, companies that are out there. So, and, you know, people have commented that they're expensive and they are. But these things are, you know, made here in the United States, um, milled or CNC'd, maybe both, out of aluminum. And, you know, they're just really high quality. They're not really, if you compare it to like a Paul stem, they're not that much more expensive. All right, I didn't look at a, what a Paul stem cost, but I can imagine that, you know, they're right in the ballpark there. It's to get something made in this country and to make it well. It's going to cost some money. So, peeper, or I'm sorry, creamy, zero, peeper, 30. And, you know, I used a peeper stem when I put the, the drop bars on my bridge club. I put the 52 Cow Chipper Deluxe bars from Salsa on my bridge club. And, you know, a stem like this is the thing that makes that possible. So I hope that clears it up. If you have any other questions about those stems, do feel free to put them down in the comments. And like I said, I will, uh, I'll get James on the horn and see if he wants to do a, uh, you know, a, a Skype call. And maybe I can record that and share that conversation with you. Thanks, as always, for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Till next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon.